Hi, Pete Moore, Edison Shooting Sports here. A little bit of a different start. This, well, you've got to recognise it. It's a German STG 44 Sturmgewehr assault rifle. Um, I consider this the granddad of all assault rifles. Um, I reckon Kalashnikov copied this the AK 47 and the ammo, despite what people say. That's neither here nor there. We can't own a Section 5 gun in the UK. This is German sports guns, STG 44. 2-2 semi-auto, probably one of the most amazing historic 2-2 semis ever. Uh, they also an MP40, you probably remember that from our, one of our last videos. Um, so it's like a companion piece. But uh, the gun itself is just beautiful. <laughs> well, I like it because I love, I love um, military weapons. Um, they've, they've gone to great detail and great lengths to make this gun like the original. The body is in a zinc alloy, something like Zamac, um, and it's molded and the gun is heavy. It's properly loaded up, it's about 10 pounds, which might seem like a lot, but the actual real gun, the eight mil version, the eight mil short version, was 11 and a half pounds fully loaded. So they've kept the weight. Um, it also has things like an ejection port cover, which we all know from the M16 AR-15, they've thought it first. Um, magazine is quite nice. You've got a button like on the MP40, the magazine's empty by the way, it goes in, easy to find, easy to take out. Cocking is by this bolt here. You pull it back, release it, and that's it. On the GSG gun, you get an automatic last round hold open, which is useful. Um, so you put an extra mag in, pull back, release. But it also has a manual hold open, so you can actually hook it into the receiver for a solid hold, hold open. What else? Safety catches here. Two position safety. I always thought the Germans did this wrong because if you push down on the safety, you're in safe mode and it's very hard to flick up your thumb. So I think it's arse about face. Uh, sights are very distinctive. You have a massive high post in the protector and the blade up front and this tangent style system at the rear, uh, which goes from a very optimistic uh, 900, from 100 to 900 metres, which is a little bit off the wall. Um, the change here is that GSG have included a sight adjuster, a wind adjuster on the, on the rear blade. It wasn't on the original gun, but with stuff like this, it's not a bad idea and it doesn't really make a huge difference. Uh, stock is wood, and inside is a rather neat little place to put your oil bottle or sandwiches. Uh, the gun strips by pushing out this pin here, the butt comes off and the action pulls out. Um, compared to the earlier, their earlier MP5 uh, lookalike, or what's now called the 522, um, the bolt is like an AR-15 2-2 rimfire bolt. Um, it runs on rails and it comes out very easily and it's very easy to keep clean. And that's the beauty of this gun. It's probably easy to clean as an AR-15. Um, again, with GSG, the barrel is not the barrel. This is a, um, again, a, a casting over the barrel. That little thin tube is actually the barrel. Um, it's a rifled liner made of high quality steel. It doesn't seem to make a subtle difference to a, the gun shooting well. And it's just the way they do it. Um, again, the forehead is all steel, uh, as it was in the original. I've used the original a few times. And it gets very, very hot, as you can imagine. This is quite a sweet gun. Um, GSG, as always, they do a nice magazine. This is a 25 rounder, but it's got the classic pull down follower slot, so it's easy to load. Um, what else about this baby? Not a lot really, but uh, it's, it's one of those guns where, you know, if you like military stuff, it's fun. You can get a scope mount for it, because the Germans actually had a scope mount for this in the Second World War. They made it into like a sniper rifle. Um, but um, GSG do a scope mount clips back here. Uh, but I like it as it is, just as a classic gun. It, it's not in the same class as the modern AR 15s with the Picatinny rails. It's really an iron sighter and it shoots well enough for iron sights. But if you want something different or like me, you just like this sort of early semi automatic stuff, then I would say the GSG STG 44 is a great piece to look at. Cheers.